Okay, this is further simplification of a force and couple system. So we'll start with con if we had a concurrent force system. And that means one in which the lines of action of all the forces intersect at a common point, then the force system produces no moment about this point. Okay, so say we had a surface and you had point O and let's say we had F3, F2, F1, and F4. Okay, so this line of action goes right through O. This line of action, right through O. All of these go right through O such that these forces don't produce a moment about point O. So this can all be simplified to point O and a resultant force. Okay. All right, now let's look at coplanar force systems. And this is the lines of actions the lines of action of all the forces lie in the same plane. Okay. So we have our surface. We have all these forces, F1, F2, F3, and F4. And all these forces act in the same plane, such that you can reduce it to just a resultant force and its resultant moment about point O. Because all of these forces are going to produce a moment about O. So the simplification has to be a force and a moment about point O. And then if you wanted to further simplify it, you could apply the force at some perpendicular distance, D. Such that the MRO is equal to the resultant force times D. And you can find D by just MRO divided by the resultant force. Okay, so that's a way to 
simplify uh, a coplanar force system to just a um, resultant force at a distance d away from the uh, point in question. Okay, and then there's a parallel force system. And these are, these are forces that are all parallel to an axis. So say we had our surface. This is our point O, and this is our Z axis. We had F1, F2, and F3. So we've got all these parallel forces. And we can simplify that. Bye. Just a resultant force at R and if these are our two axes of the plane, a resultant moment. Okay. And just like in this case, if we move the resultant force out a particular distance, it will also account for the moment. So if this is our O, this is, this is our plane axes, we've got our Z axis, then we can put the resultant force over here at a distance d such that it will produce that moment. Okay, so we've simplified it down to a force um, and a distance away from the origin or the point in question. And the last simplification is a reduction to a wrench, where a wrench is the simplest way to express um, multiple forces and moments, and couple moments. Okay. So if this is our surface, and we had our axis B, and our axis A, and we had a moment which is parallel and a moment which is perpendicular. And additionally, a resultant force. Okay. So we could simplify that by this resultant force, um, if at a given distance from the origin, can produce a perpendicular moment. So if we were to put A and B again, we'd leave our parallel moment, and then put a, the resultant force out a distance D such that it would produce the um, perpendicular moment. And now the parallel uh, moment right here is a free vector. So we can just move it such that we've got the parallel moment 
and the resultant force acting at a distance d. And that is a reduction to a wrench.